I'm not ready. Technical difficulties. Oh, there you go. There you go. There you go. There you go. All right, let's try that again. We're we going to try that again. Y'all didn't know that happened. <sighs> Run it back. They know how to relax up in here. <clears throat> I, I had to do my Genghis impression real quick. Speaking of Genghis, hold on before we start. I uh, want to send condolences to Big G. He just lost his mother a couple days ago. Oh, fuck. Um, so shout out to uh, Big G, the whole backyard family, uh, Mr. Anwan Glover. Uh, sorry for your loss. Condolences. Sorry just to hear start that. Started wanted to start off with that since we was playing his music. So sorry to hear that, my good brother. Yeah, go. Mama, Mama Big G, she was out there. She was a loving woman from our, what I've heard and what I've seen. So. Our deepest condolences from the CLP family. Yes, sir. <clears throat> All right, folks. We back in the lab. Yes, sir. We back in the studio. Uh-huh. It's Captain's Law Podcast YouTube show. Get I'm with me. Rob. He's Rick. Yes, sir. Niggas got extra energy for some reason. I don't know what the fuck is going on, <laughs> but we're going to roll with it. I'm so excited. Appreciate y'all fucking with us tonight, man. We got a packed show tonight. We're gonna run, we're gonna run it down and start letting y'all know from jump. So even though you're gonna stay and listen anyway, motherfuckers, we'll still let you know. So topic number one, Top Gun. We we're not gonna tell a movie. We just gonna say that you need to go see it. We're gonna do NBA Finals prediction. We're gonna do We Own the City episode five and six recap. Mm-hmm. We're gonna get into little Johnny Depp wins. We're gonna get into what the fuck news. <laughs> We're going to do a little bit of the Texas shooting thing. Some Elon Musk stuff. Yeah. And one for me specifically, summertime winter clothing. (laughs) All right. Stick with me on that. I'm going to be going real in-depth on that. But wellness check. How was your week? Weekend week? Um, It was okay. It was eventful. No, I got my... uh... My spine injections last week, so mm. motherfucker was out here moving jive slow. But uh, and then I was getting cussed out because I was moving too fast. But uh, I'm good though. You know what I mean? Still don't feel a difference yet, but we'll see in about a week or two. That's what we do though. We, we fuck around and get a whole surgery. And be like, well, look, somebody got to run the Home Depot. Shit, you no, know what I'm saying? I was we cutting the grass you know? and all types of shit. Oh, I was man, getting I cussed out. No grass, I had to, bro. I had to. But I was good though. How was you? Pretty good, very eventful. You know what I'm saying? Definitely taking advantage of this this abnormal time off of work, which is really just normal for everyone else. <laughs> so I had a holiday off. Yeah, this motherfucker was nigga. Don't be getting no holidays off. You know this what I'm saying? Like Carmen San Diego, bitch. You was out here traveling yeah. and shit. So we hopped in the whip. We went up to New York for for a day. Well, went up to New York for a couple of hours. Came back to New Jersey. Stopped, dropped the shit off in the hotel. We went to uh, uh American Dream. In New Jersey, it's right across the street from MetLife Stadium. Mm. Highly recommended. You go ahead, throw the family in the car, and go ahead and hit that joint up. The mall was nice as fuck. Big mall. It's a it's different theme parks in the mall. In the mall, yes, like roller coasters, like what's roller the, coasters. What's the, in the John mall? out Midwest or some shit? The John is it in Minnesota or some shit like that? Mall of America. Is it something like that? I never been, but I, I assume so. Okay, All right, so. We, you know, the, the, apparently there's like six or seven different joints you can go to from different theme parks to water parks, etc. Inside the mall? In the mall. So we went What and, stores did they have? Man? Like, same shit you get up here. Okay, it, it's right. kind of like, it's like going in like a, uh, it's like going in Arundel Mills when it first opened. When it was like nice as fuck. Not all fucking ran down like it is now. I mean, Rundle Mill's still good. Rundle Mill's is some shit. Ever since they put their bus stop there, Rundle Mill's been some shit. So, I mean, well, it depends on what time you go, but whatever. But it's it's really, really nice wall. A lot of white fucking floors and, and walls, real bright. And uh, you, you can tell that the water park is not too far because it was people that was in there in their fucking bathing suits. And they were in 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 the uh, uh they they were in the trekking, roller coaster side, trekking yeah. that chlorine and shit called, all through uh, the fucking mall. I think it's called Nickel- Nickelodeon Universal or some shit like that. Don't quote me on. Just look it up. Look it up. American Dream. Right, I'm gonna look uh, it up. We pay about two. We pay about two fifty for all of us for four people to do the uh 
Twilight version from eight to ten, which is may really like uh, it's just dark and they got lights on and shit. So they got some legit roller coasters in there. Was it packed? No, it wasn't, which was weird because we were in there and we got on almost every ride except one. I couldn't do it. Um, which ride was that? It was like, I don't know, but it starts off slow and then you go all the way up to the, the highest point of the building and then you drop and then you stand like this. That bitch stop locking in. You think your shit broke and then you go down. But then when you go down, it curves back and then throw you. So the reason why I didn't get on it, because number one, we just ate. <laughs> so honestly, so? I didn't want to get on shit. I was, I was, I was like, look, I'm gonna just go with Harley. You, you know what I'm saying? Wife was like, no, nah, we're gonna rotate. So we went and got on a little mini fairs with Harley. <laughs> yeah. 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 I'm like, hey, man, sit your my, ass down. Leave my niece alone. You know what I mean? But then Aiden, like, well, let's hit the roller coaster. I'm like, all right. So we get on the one joint. She was jaw weak. She was a little small, bumping my knee and shit. I'm like, ah, oh, my knee, my knee, my knee, my knee. <laughs> then they got the roller coaster. <laughs> <laughs> I'm worried about my health. Back it up, here. back it up, back it up, back it up. So then we get on the joint. Um, you have a wristband where it's uh it's a roller coaster, but it spins. So you know the little, you know the old little old school carnival throw up joint. You, you go in a circle, yeah, the spaceship, and it go up and down, and then the shit spin. Oh, it's no. a roller coaster. Oh, that, that jump. Oh, okay. That so jump. you it's going like up, you going jump, down, jump. and you. So I was like, all right, all right, okay, okay, okay. But the roller coaster was long, bro. I was like, longest roller coaster in there. So I was like, okay, I'm done. I'm done. You don't I'm do done. you don't do theme parks, bro. I, I used to, bro. I used to, but for some reason, I be getting headaches and shit now. Really? Yeah, I do. I'm so like, I'm like full fledged, like adrenaline junkie in fucking theme parks, bro. I, I I wouldn't doubt it when we when we went to Carowinds. I was amped, bro. I was like, we can go back to any day because that was grown man. Uh, uh, that was adult roller coasters there. Oh, but I gotta get hit that motherfucker Bush Gardens, bro. So then we hit yeah yeah we, that's that too. So then we hit this one joint was kind of it was it was simple but it was fast. You know, you just go, come back, <laughs> come back. Ah, <laughs> and then that this mo- motherfucker look like Harry Potter. That you, motherfucker you, was you, like, you see how I drew that shit? They got, I, I did, I did a Doctor Strange. <laughs> 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 but then you come back, right? You come back, and then it flips, it turns. You do all that shit backwards. When they did it backwards, I was like, fuck. So at yeah, that point, let me find out. At point, I was, about to throw, I was about to throw up. Let me find out you weak sauce on the amusement park. That's what we need to do, bro. I, nigga, I, I we had need a, to do a boys' trip to an amusement park. I'm with it. It just can't be hot though. We gotta do it in like September. No, baby, we need to be nigga, out there. I be out there sweating. I'm, I'm gonna need three fits. I be sweating. Nigga, everybody sweat. So then, man, we doing at, So at that point, you know what I'm saying? I get off. I'm like, I'm done. You know what I'm saying? So Aiden, he they running them around. You know, it's like five minutes left. Everybody running, trying to get on the rise. Like, these motherfuckers on the roller coaster. Damn, bro. So they had like three people do the same out. joint. So we left there, then we came home the next day. You know what I'm saying? Made a little pit stop. Got an announcement coming. Not yet. Not yet. But it's coming. Stand by. Um, and that was it, man. Came home, chilled out, spent my Monday, r- ran a few errands. You know what I'm saying? And that was it. Had to get some high ass gas, you know, gas a little high up there. Yeah, they, 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 they trust me. I go to Jersey a lot. They, they so knocking on the door five dollars up there. Yeah. So that was my weekend though. So we was only in New York. So for did a you enjoy? Hours. Did you you got gas in Jersey? Yeah. Did you yeah. enjoy them pumping your shit? No. <laughs> Why not? Let me let me let me tell Why you. Why ain't like nobody pumping your shit? I mean, I done had no choices. Apparently, yeah, it's, that's, it's against, that's the it's law. Against the law. I, I wasn't trying to spend a night in jail because I ain't want my man pump, pumping the, the, the eighty seven. You know what I'm saying in there. But first of all, I didn't like doing it because I just feel like they're not moving fast enough. So I'm like, we trying to get home. My man coming out. He's like, he's like, I'm like, nigga, you ain't pump, nigga. We the only people here. Get your ass over here. Put this sixty dollars in there. But then they be thinking like they're gonna get a tip or something. So I'm just like. I'm not tipping you, bro. So it's like I just rather you look. You just just let me do that. And I'll just I'll finish that part. No, nah. no, you can't. So no, I don't like that. I don't like that. <laughs> and then it, it, honestly, I don't want to get in my card. I was glad I had cash because you know yeah, uh, you know up there cash is like twenty cents cheaper yeah. at every station. If you it says cash, yep. cash was four forty three. You know what I'm saying? Everything else was like 480, 460, 480. It was some joints in New York was like five or some change. Shit was crazy. Mm-hmm. Shit, it was a five, 
15 around here. That's wrong. Yeah, but no, no, I, I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't, I don't, I prefer to pump my own shit. You know what I'm saying? I gotta get out. I gotta, I gotta throw all my little trash, my my pocket trash. I gotta throw that shit away. You can still do that while they're. I'm married in the my way, man. You know what I'm saying? That's my ritual. All right, but that's it though. And we had a good time, you know. And uh, shit, I ain't get to play the game. I was like, man, I need to get home and play the game. What the fuck is going on here? And it's still ass. And that's it. Um, and I smashed your time today. Pause. You a damn lie. Bullshit. And I got first. Fuck is you talking about? Wellington. Yeah. I, I sent the picture. Oh, Wellington. All right, Let's move into the topic. We're going to have another game. I hear you, sir. I have another game topic tonight. On Monday, I went to Laurel Theater. This is my favorite theater. Reclining seats, kick the fuck back, popcorn bussing, all that. You got matinee, though. Only the matinee. I don't do no night movies. Uh, went to see Top Gun Maverick. Oh, motherfucker. Going to tell y'all love Bucks. Giving it a four and a half out of five. A four and a half out of five. I'm giving it a four and a half. Why not a four or five? I think you being petty. Honestly, I don't think I've ever given a, a movie a five. I don't think I've ever given a movie four out of five. You know, the only movie I was going to give a five would have been Avengers Endgame, but it was too fucking long. I had to take. I okay, to take so what, what deducted a half a point without spoiling it? Um. I didn't see the movie. I think that they, uh, I think that they were just a tad bit. So without telling the movie, I think they were just a tad bit borderline on the overkill, trying to like uh, get people to remember parts of the first movie. You know what I'm saying? To the point where it's like, all right, bro, like you know, you, you know, mimicking the same moves and shit like that. I get it, but it was kind of like, all right, skip past this. But I thought, the story- did, did they do it too long? Nah, but it was it was it was like one or two or three times too many, like kind of one like or two or three times too probably many. two or three, probably two or three times okay. too many to the point well, where, to the I'm point where maybe they soon, didn't really so. didn't really need to do it. I mean, you we different, you know, we different people, so you like, might not look at it like that. But I'm like, I'm more so like, you know, this is a movie that came out like fucking 20, 30 years ago, so it's like, don't fuck this up. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah, but it was but, good though. I, I I will say in Tom Cruise's defense, that motherfucker ain't gonna let no movie get fucked up. This is Tom motherfucking Cruise. You know, so you off know, bucks. You know, you know what else they need to come out with that he did a long, long time ago? It was a NASCAR the NASCAR job. Days, Days of Thunder. Thunder? Ooh, I thought about that they too. Need to, bro. They need to come out with a cold thing. trickle. <laughs> they need to come out with another Days of Thunder joke. Come on, cold trickle. Come on, cold. But nah, I'm a, I plan on going to go see it. Go see that joint. Taking a, taking you know what fan. I'm saying? Whatever that, whatever your theater of choice, go see that joint. I pick. That joint was good. I mean, like, like it was good. And I know I know he do the majority of his stunts, but honestly, I didn't. Yeah, he do. They, and he paid, a, he paid a fucking bill for them joints. I seen articles. They was talking about like $11 million for, the, for some of the jet scenes. Bro, I'm a, I'm and a, like, I'm gonna lie to in you. the joke. I don't think any of that shit was CGI, bro. No, no, like, it wasn't. I think, and I think no, that, they're, they're I think that little. alone is what makes the movie so good. Yeah, like I feel when he was in the in the jet, like swinging around in that, but you see his face. I was like, this really. This so really one thing it. that I did see, they said all the actors had to go through like legit, um, legit fucking uh training. Yeah, the like, Bama J. Training. Allen said he 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 about to try to get his pilot license. He's like he's like I'm dead ass. So I, I'm giving it. I'm giving it a solid four point five out right, of five. Yeah, I'm giving sure. it a solid. Like I'm gonna leave it there. Please go see that joint. If listen, if you don't agree with me, you know what I'm saying. L- let me know why in the comments. I mean, I just want to know. Name the last fucking Tom Cruise movie that wasn't good. Yeah, it's not that many. It's not that many. All right, so let's move on. All right, good shit. I'm gonna go see it on Sunday. Check try it out. To, Check try, it out. Nigga, I, I go see it twice. Fuck you talking about. Uh, NBA Finals prediction. Hmm, Golden... I was right. You, you was right. You I was, was right. right. Honestly, and the thing about it is, you fucking change your I predictions. Change. I, you know why I changed? I changed because I was like, I, I didn't want to have the same shit with some. We, we had to bump heads somewhere, so I was like, I'm gonna go with him. Nah. I wanted, I wanted Jimmy Butler to win, man. But you know, he ain't got it. He ain't got it. But I'm going with Golden State in six. I'm leaving it there. And let, let's let's set the fucking register straight, Chizzy. <laughs> I said Golden State in six. Because I just think Golden State is going to win. I don't give a fuck that Boston Celtics is your team. Just because that's your team does not mean I need to root for your team because you are a friend of mine. I want to be crystal clear about this shit. Listen, listen. 
let's let's listen here, y'all. We make sure we clip this. I need it. I need tag it. his ass. Listen, this joke. Let me tell y'all something. Let me tell y'all about Chizzy. <laughs> Chizzy will go. Chizzy will go on a Boston Celtics Facebook rant for days. Ain't nobody even said nothing to this dude, and he will literally be tagging everybody in this shit. Oh, uh. Act Robert Marbury quiet as fuck. Da, da, da. <laughs> I've been quiet the whole time, dog. I don't care about Boston. I think, <laughs> I think Boston is good. I just think Golden State is better. Like, I just I just don't think y'all got enough firepower to fuck with them. You know what I'm saying? Don't let it get to game six. Game six, Clay. You know what I'm saying? Point guard, Draymond, point center. Dr- man, I just I just don't think I got nothing to take. I'm gonna go Golden State with six. I, I see in the comments Boston and seven. Let's put a cigar on that. Um, Ralph says Boston, Boston and, and seven. seven. That's okay. Yuri, what's happening? I, I'm I'm going with I'm going with Golden State. I just they they cooking, and they just got uh Gary Payton. Uh, that was the second or the junior, second yeah. or junior, which is whatever one you are. My bad. So this is this this is what I'm thinking. Golden State is definitely going to win, like at least the first two. Only reason why I say that because they will rest it. All right. Okay. Um, but Boston does have a very, very good defense. They got a mob. The defense is there, but but can they guard the three though? That's what I'm saying. Uh, I'm going to go with Golden State myself. Um, but I was rooting for the Celtics the entire time. So, but now I'm, I'm going with Golden State. I, Chiz- Chizzy makes just, me, Chizzy just, makes me want to root for the other team just because just 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 to, just to hear him go off. Yeah. Chizzy, but, I, I think Boston's good. I just think you need to fucking relax, all right? <laughs> That's all I'm saying. Somebody get Chizzy in here now. No, nah, I got uh, but no, nah, I, I got Golden. I got Golden State, bro. So I got Golden I got Golden State in six. I just don't want no blowout games. I don't want no I don't want no Boston by, yeah, by I, I, I want it, I want it back and forth. I want right? I want close games like within yeah. 10 every yeah. night. Yeah, I, I don't feel like I'm asking too much. No. I'm asking both teams. That's to play that's that's very possible with both of them, unless fucking Curry goes on a fucking a fucking heater. But that's the thing; it's not just that's see, that's that's what makes him so dangerous. If Curry, Cause not, yeah, because if it's not just him, because if Curry don't go up. off, Clay gonna go off. Yep. If Clay don't go off, Poole gonna go off. Yep. You know what I'm saying? If Poole don't go off, motherfucking, what's the other guy? Uh, what, what the who wants to do with the hair? Is that? Um, Courtney Lee or some shit? Is that him? They they got so many people who who can just they got got so many people who can just have a night. You know what I'm saying? Pool, they ain't gonna be able to keep him too long. He gonna be uh he gonna be getting max contract. He gonna have to roll. He gonna I mean if I was him I would go to another team start my own shit anyway. But they're not gonna they're not gonna be able to keep that shit together because I mean he only been in the league a couple years so he ain't even got got big big money yet. No, he don't. You know what I'm saying? He ain't even sniff it yet. Nope. Golden State is six. You say Golden State is six. I'm going to stick it there. Ralph. Ralph. Cigar. Boston and seven. We'll see. Moving along. Let's get into some TV, man. Mm. So, so, so. I have, a, I have a rating for the show, too. All right. So, before all right, before we get a recap, what is your rating out of five? What is your rating out of five? 3.75. 3.75? You, 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 made, you made me wait too long. For the action, I had I had to wait four episodes. So I I didn't I didn't. I well, what type of action were you looking for? I don't know. But I just I didn't think I was just gonna be watching all this all this theatrics really lead up to the last two episodes. You know what it remind me of? It was just a slow burn, like Breaking Bad. When Breaking Bad first came on, I had to sit through an entire season before that shit started getting good. I was like I was like, why am I still watching this? Like, why am I still watching it? Because it, it always left you quite, and it always left you in the unknown at the end of the episode. Mm. And then, like, oh shit, this is what they're doing? That's kind of what this did. So I, I thought the last two episodes were really good. Um, but the first four, five, seven. So three, three point seven five. If I think if I think if you would have got it popping maybe one episode sooner, but it's a, it's, it but it's a mini series, though. I know, and that, that's that's what I'm saying. The fact that it's a mini series, you only had six episodes, like, why wait till the last two? To really like show people what the fuck going on. Nah, I don't think it was the last two. I think the last three, bro. So if I had to give it a rating, I would give it a four out of five. Reason why okay. I, I'm reason why I was giving it why I'm giving it a four out of five. Cause I really got sucked in into uh after the third episode, 
to the point that I actually started doing research on the actual fucking character that oh, they were shit. depicting. Okay. Give me so, more. um, but only reason why, excuse me, only reason why I gave it a four out of five because I wanted more. You see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And then me just having conversations, shout out to my cousin Camille. We need to get her on here and make drinks. You can't drink. She'll make you some seltzer water. But yeah. um she make me a, a, a what is it, Shirley Temple? Shirley Temple with no alcohol. I gotta call a different name though. <laughs> what do you call it? I don't know. I'm gonna make some shit up. <laughs> but we were we went to get lunch uh this week and she was like, Y'all been watching that show about Baltimore police? I'm like, what and she don't watch shit like that. And I'm like, Yeah, she was like, I'm stuck to it, like I'm in glue. So, like, those are the conversations I've been having with people since this shit then started outside of us. Um, but I, I found it interesting. Um, because a lot of this shit is true, and I don't think a lot of people really understand it. Oh, bro! Like everything, every character in that fucking um, show are real. Everybody that was real, and I think that's what made the last episode so crazy. Yo, the last out, outside. Episode, let's, let's go on the well. Let's we let's just mush. Let's just mash fifth, five, and six together. You can do five. I forgot a little bit about five. I I, no, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just mushing together. So everything is just a build up, right? So every, so pretty much this entire episode and this entire season, right? The series has been a build up, and it's giving you different depictions and different angles from each individual that was involved, each police officer that was a part of this gun gang task force, whatever the fuck it was. Okay, gun trace task force, plain clothes, so, whatever the fuck. They GTTF. Call it, yeah. So, uh, it was giving you everybody angles, and it was all focused around one character. So the one, the one character, Jenkins, Sergeant Jenkins, who was portrayed by the Punisher dude Bergdahl. Scoot over some, your face, half your face block. Uh, Bergdahl. So, mm-hmm. um, they gave different angles, right? And then it shows, as, as you, and what was interesting to me, right? You hear about all this fucking, you know, um, you know, cops. We got each other back. Those my brothers, blah 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 blah, and these motherfuckers was snitching faster than these motherfuckers on first forty eight. I, I never seen a whole group like an entire group. But of the thing about it is, from what I people. heard and what I've been doing research on, that happens a lot. Cops fucking flip easy, easy, because you know why they flip easy, especially if they get caught right and the evidence is there. Them motherfuckers. Got to go into jail. If a cop... You know what happens to cops in fucking jail? They are tormented their entire sentence. Yeah. So anyway, back to the show. So one thing that I, I liked... Uh, are we going to talk about spoilers? Are we going to do spoilers? We'll actually talk about the episode? It's a recap. Fuck it. So all right, fuck, fuck it. it. So, all right. So... We had time to watch it. Everything, like everything in the fifth episode was a lead up to the sixth. So then everybody's coming down, right? Now, at this point, everybody's taking a plea deal that it's out there now that these individuals were arrested. And then now everybody's just popping up. Right. And then everybody's cooperating. Everybody's grabbing. What I liked about the last episode a lot is because they gave Jenkins point of view than everybody else's. Yeah. Now, everybody else's Jenkins was the most corrupt motherfucker on the planet. He was the alpha male. He was the top dog. He was that motherfucker. And he was, according to Jenkins' point of view that they portrayed in this episode, he wasn't a dirty cop. He he, 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 he really doing, thought that he wasn't a dirty he, cop. No, I don't, I don't think, I don't think, I don't think that him by them portraying that he was, he didn't think he was a dirty cop. I think it was just him sitting back trying to justify the shit that he was doing. Exactly. Not necessarily, not necessarily he was a dirty cop. He know he was doing dirty shit. But I think they was just trying to justify the shit that he was doing. So when he first got approached, when they first locked his ass up and they brought him in there in the sixth episode and they was talking about he and he tried, he was like, yeah, so no. No, everything that you heard about me, it was a lie. He was giving like that scripted fucking that uh talk to the but fucking he kinda, lawyers. He kind of already knew. He already knew he was about to get jammed up. Though. He did not know. But think about he it. He didn't know. The reason why he didn't know because he didn't know that all his homeboys fucking snitched well, on no, his he ass. He didn't know that. But when the lawyer, when the lawyer, yeah, the lawyer was the, trying to the, tell his ass, he was ignoring him. Told him some shit, and all of a sudden he was like, "That's when this whole the old vibe started changing. Like we could do this, but it got to be yard name on that." So I was like, "Yeah, oh. so that's when that shit started." But that was just that was his that was his point of view. 
If it was them other two more point of views, that motherfuckers like, nah, we gotta hit these motherfuckers. It was bad. But then, um, oh, I get, I, what, I get what you're saying. So as him kind of telling the story in his point of view, he tried to make it seem like, oh, you know what I'm saying? It, like he ain't this person that they're yeah, they're trying like, to portray like when him they're telling as, the story. Yeah, as yeah, what yeah. Ah, yeah, so I, I, I didn't look doing. at it like that. But then it was a, it was a, it was a couple key moments that really, really got me. So the one, the one part. And I keep forgetting their names. I'm bad with fucking actors' names and actresses' names. The, the lady, the journey. lady from fucking Lovecraft Country, and the old white guy that was reviewing her shit. And he was just like, he was like, okay, you got all this stuff in this fucking report, but what does it actually? What what is it not saying? You're telling us that they're doing all this corrupt shit. You want this policy change, all this other, but what is it not saying? And the key thing about it was. He said, the thing what it's not saying is it's a fucking war going on and they need enemies for war, but they've been losing this fucking war for decades. That shit hit hard because then after that, what happened? They was asking for fucking more. The mayor. For He was asking for more funding and shit from the fucking mayor, right? All these fucking cops were already smashing fucking overtime unlimited. So the only way that they can actually fund the police officers was doing what? Taking goddamn money from the goddamn after school programs, the recreation shit and all that. And, you know, she kind of stood her ground. and was like, yeah, you're not taking money from the babies, but you got to figure something else. And he was like, no, nah, I don't want my fucking cuts. And this is all the shit was Freddie Gray was happening. So I, I actually enjoyed the last episode. Like I actually watched it twice. I think she I, honestly, I think be, between the conversation with the white guy, the conversation with the mayor when she was in the courtroom and the judge was denying a bunch of people's fucking uh bonds. Oh, shit. yeah, yeah, yeah. She was she, she was broken she after was, that. No, she quit. That's after what she that, quit. Yeah, she's like, I'm done. She was just like, no, she was like, everything that she was like, this whole division is is pretty much a piece of shit. So um, so I'm we're gonna talk about um Jamie Hector. He's Sean, playing Sean. He was playing the role of Sean Suter. So, um, Sean Suter was with Jenkins, right, in his task force, and he did take money at least once. And he got, then he got out. And then he got out of the task force and did homicide ever since and was clean. But the fact that he was going, he was about to go through the grand jury, he was about to put on Front Street, it was a lot of pressure. Now, this is why I said I got interested, because this is an actual fucking true fact. There is still debate on how he died. How he died. Sean Souter it was an actual Baltimore police officer. And that whole and they did it so well without putting any negative aspects on his life, on his on, on as his role as a police officer, right? Because it's that murder is still well. His death is still unsolved. They're not saying it was a homicide. Like folk tale, right? People are saying it's a homicide. People are saying it was a suicide. Some people are saying he was just, it was just a random police officer. I mean, well, a random assailant that shot him, right? But the shit that he was doing prior to him getting shot made you think what? What you think? You think he shot himself? I don't know, bro. Like, I, I ain't gonna lie, I was fucked up. I was like, this nigga shot himself. But I, I mean, but, personally, but up, I don't. But up to that, when he was looking for the motherfucker in the alley, do you really think somebody was in the alley? No, I thought I thought he was looking. I thought he was gonna run. Run where? For what? I don't know. I just I just felt like it, it. It just seemed like you know him showing showing the scenes of him laying in the bed, you know, restless and you know looking at family pictures and all this other shit. I thought that he was gonna run. Like, like they about like they're gonna get me and somehow I'm gonna be tied in this shit too. And I thought he was gonna run, but then when he was behind the van, I was like, "Nigga, you better not." So this I is thought he was, I thought he was gonna shoot himself behind the van. So this is the thing: the reason why they did that view of him, that scene with him behind the van on that street, there was a camera right there, and it caught him pacing back and forth behind a van before he got shot. Now you don't see it and it and they did the fucking whole thing well. And this is why I said I was doing my research. When he dipped off and was like please stop and then you heard the shots, the camera couldn't catch that angle. So that's why they did the scene like that. Mm. So um 
a couple things about that whole scene. One, there was three shots. Three. And one of them shits was to the head, right? So according to, from what I was heard, from what I seen, they were all headshots. You see what I'm saying? How you shoot yourself in you, the head three you, times? You see what I'm saying? And then even in the show, they was just like, you know, he suffered head wounds, blah, 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 blah. It's not good. If you look at him on the episode, he didn't have nothing. It was all blood around his head and shit. Exactly. He was laying on his fucking gun and the radio in his fucking hand. So, um... Jamie Hector did a, a good job of portraying that character. He said that uh, him playing that role, he actually took it serious, right? And he wanted to bring life into Sean uh, Suter. Suter and not not disrespect the family at all. Like, he actually learned about how he was as a person, as a father, a family man, the whole nine. So he was like, he actually took, you know, to heart of playing that role. So I thought that was pretty, pretty good. But the fact when they, when he, when he fucking died, I was like, ah. Like, and I mean, I think he was. I, I think, wanted to text your ass right there. I was like, "This motherfucker died." I, you know, I thought I think he was mentally broken too, dog. And then you know, and I think well, and we, he was set to go to grand jury the next, the very next. And day. you know, I and think he was he was ignoring the phone calls, he and was. all that shit. And I think the one, I think what really was the, kind of one of the climaxes was when he was investigating the murder, and then he seen the old guy, and he went to try to talk to him. He was like, "No disrespect." He said, "I don't talk to no police." He's I'm homicide. He was like. You still the fucking he's, police. He's like, he's like, you ain't come in as homicide. He's, he's like, yep. he's like, you used to be with the jump outs. And I was like, damn. So this, so this is so the last scene where remember in the beginning, first episode or two, they show Jenkins talking to a whole bunch of cadets, mm -hmm. right? A little motivation, a little speech. motivation speech. This time they showed all the characters that was in his fucking that was that were in this whole entire investigation Sitting now. Sitting down, dressed as cadets. All of them were dressed as cadets. So what to me, what that showed is a fucking circle of life. Just because you get rid of fucking Jenkins doesn't mean the shit's gonna fucking happen. You got the older cop that's schooling the newer cops on the fucking bad habits and the bullshit. And then when those new cops become the old cops, they just fucking repeating the cycle, and that bitch just rents and fucking repeat. Mm -mm -mm. Now everybody in that goddamn, everybody in that damn, uh, uh, everybody that was in the investigation were arrested. And they were fucking charged. So I'm gonna read some of these fucking charges that they got. So, damn, Jenkins, the real life Wayne Jenkins was sentenced to 25 years in June of 2018. He pled guilty to racketeering, robbery, destruction. Alteration, falsifying records, and four counts of deprivation of rights. That motherfucker was selling drugs and everything as a police officer. He was a, taking the drug. He was he was robbing them for the drugs. He was giving it to his man, the, the bondsman. He was giving it to the bondsman. The bondsman was selling the shit, and the bondsman flipped on his ass quick. He was quickly. like, "Oh, I know why you here." He was like, "And you forgot the fucking the cocaine." Hmm. Then you got uh, Thomas Ellers, another GTT. Uh, F officer, he was serving to 15 years. The two black dudes, they received fucking 10 years of peace. Um, Hendricks and Maurice Ward, they they were cooperating the entire time. They was actually pretty good. They got like seven fucking years, but they was released in February of this year. Uh -oh. Um, but then second, third order of effects, right? The fucking commissioner at the time, he resigned. Don't for, don't forget, Herschel got 18 years. Yeah, Herschel got 18 years. Woo! <clears throat> the fucking on federal shit. Mm -hmm. Um, the police commissioner at the time he resigned. The new guy that came in, he was arrested. Oh my god, he was arrested. Four months, dog. He was arrested, and the mayor was arrested. The four, mayor, four the months mayor, in, this nigga get, get got on federal fucking tax evasion. He was tax so they, evasion, and then they gave he gave and the, the mayor, the, mayor I, and the mayor too, and they showed her fucking face too, right as she's smiling. Smiling ass, and then then they just says the mayor received three years. You got damn right. And but she was out in two. What he said in the speech, he was like, he's like, uh, uh, don't get pretty much, don't get it twisted. I don't tolerate corruption. But you, but four you're months, the same shit. nigga. If you if you got but, caught but, four months later, you was already doing that shit. But that's just like I said, it's fucking rinse and repeat. It's a fucking circle of life. That shit starts from the top down. 
Especially they when, they, doing when, when they asked that the previous mayor was like, so y'all didn't know the shit was going on. He tried to make all the excuses. Yeah, the world. yeah he tried he to. Fucking he knew. Tried. You he knew. was like, they didn't know that they, he was like, they should have known it was corruption. And one of the reporters was like, they should have known. He was like, we should know. Yeah, motherfucker, you was fucked up. Yeah. So, but it was a good show. I just hope, I wish it was longer. Um, I don't know what, what Dave Simon or D Watkins is going to come up with next, but hopefully they come up with something. Check that shit out, y'all. <clears throat> that was a good segment. Moving on to some uh, TMZ type shit. <laughs> Johnny Depp. Jonathan. Johnny. John. Jonath. Depp wins. Captain Jack Sparrow. Captain Jack Sparrow. Seven eighty. He wins. Son of a bitch. He won. Well, well, he he did win. So the reason why we're talking about it, right? Because this shit happened in Fairfax, Virginia. It's local news. Um, if you're if you've been underneath the rock, this shit's been on CNN, fucking Fox News, been on there. TikTok live, TikTok, too. everything, the whole fucking trial since like April. Johnny Depp and his wife, his ex wife, Amber Heard, has been they they pretty much suing each other for defamation, right? So um, she was claiming fucking. Physical abuse and all this other shit. Um, at the end, they were both found guilty, but Johnny Depp was awarded more. What, like 10 mil? Johnny or? Depp got 15 mil. 15 mil. Amber Heard got 2 mil. Now, interesting shit about this case is because Johnny Depp, they was trying to say that, she was trying to say that, you know, he was physically abusing her. When that and it, it's it came out that it was a fucking setup, like from her lawyer, her publicist at the time, and her homegirls, like they staged fucking nine one one calls, messed the house up or whatever. But Johnny Depp had recordings. Yeah, I slapped you, Johnny. I didn't hit you. It was just a slap. Stop being a fucking baby. So as a man. He was being physically abused by a woman. Now, how often do you hear that? And I'm gonna try, I'm not trying to advocate for none of this shit. I'm just stating the facts. How often do you hear a man being a victim of, of physical abuse from a female? I've heard it. Uh, You've heard it, but I've how it. how often do you hear I, you don't hear it that often, but you never hear nobody taking nobody in no fucking court for it. Exactly. So, hey, look, hats off to you, sir. Then, then what she did was she switched her goddamn uh, publicist team halfway through the fucking trial because she felt like they was portraying her wrong in the fucking public. There was a whole bunch of fucking shit. But either way, um, she her role in like the new Aquaman and Warner Brothers movies has been reduced because of this shit. Now, excuse me, the fact that she has to pay defamation uh, fines. That's not good as a public figure at all. So she's going to have a hard time getting fucking she might not be hired shit. to do shit. And he, I'm pretty sure he's probably about to fucking set her ass up so she can't do a fucking thing. She probably not going to be in shit. And it was funny, like... You wouldn't even look at me. He's like, I don't want to look at you. <laughs> And he was just being Damn, he was being wild. he was being chill, he's being an asshole at the same time. Yeah, but he it's was like being himself. I Johnny said, I, Depp is a good fucking actor. I said I, I get it though. Everybody got their shit, but that motherfucker was a good fucking actor. Yeah, I've watched almost every fucking movie of his. Because he's he's fucking I, legit. I think I gave up on like the second Pirates of Caribbean. I was like Pirates of Caribbean was that you watched Sleepy Hollow? I did. Sleepy Hollow was good. You watch uh of course I watched Blow. Go ahead, throw yeah, that out course, there. Yeah, Classic. Blow, yeah, blow, blow, I I any blow, anything blow. else after that, I might have watched it by accident. Uh, but yeah, but no, that shit was wild. Um, he won. It was, it was just local news, <laughs> but we have more local news. So we have what do we call this segment? Is what the fuck news? What the fuck news? This this is this is that time where Rick somehow finds some wild ass <laughs> shit going on in the area that you guys probably want to know about. So, so go ahead and take it away. Recently, uh, actually, I think it happened today. A a man who shot a store clerk in Virginia because he assumed this man was a fucking werewolf was released from prison today. He shot and killed this man because he thought he was a fucking werewolf and he was released. 
Y'all wild as shit out, Virginia. <laughs> Virginia Listen, I I, I I I want you, your Virginians, to to really hear me. Like, I know crime and shit be bad in PG County, and it be bad in DC and all this, but it's always some off the wall shit going on in in, in Virginia, dog. Like, and I'm oh. not even I'm not even talking like pay. I'm talking like from a motherfucking like Fredericksburg or, or what is it called, F- Farqueer, Fiaqueer County, whatever you call it, Fiaqueer. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that whatever county shit. that is, on back. It's always some wild ass shit going on, bro. Like, I need y'all to fucking chill. But go ahead. But so, so this happened in Old Town Alexandria, which I do. Me and wifey do like going to. It's not. It's, it's the, not close. The Wharf, a nice restaurant. You haven't been there, go. Um, in 2018 in July. Uh, I'm not gonna say the man's name, but he was found dead at the fucking convenience store. He was stabbed more than 50 fucking times. 50. By this individual. 50 he was times, 60. Bro. He was 65 years old. The guy that died. Um, the individual that killed him was 34. Um, he drove. This is the thing. This motherfucker drove from New Jersey to Virginia. Didn't know this man from shit on a stick. Drove from New Jersey to Virginia, walked in that fucking store and fucking killed him. Because he thought he was a fucking werewolf. And he was released after only serving three years. Three years. Sound like the K2 to me. Nah, that sound like some legit mental shit. That his ass should fucking stay in there in the fucking white box. Three years. Screaming. Do you know the Muffin Man? Wait, wait. Three years? That motherfucker got three years. He only served three years. You stabbed somebody 50 times? 50 fucking times you got Bruh, three you years. Know, do you know how much energy that is? He probably got tired, switched hands. So listen, so it's like a man who brutally killed a store manager at Alexandria, Virginia because he allegedly believed the victim was a werewolf is being allowed to leave a mental health facility and moved into the community. Fuck out of here, dog. Fuck out of here. Nah, bro. Nah, nah. I ain't with that, man. That's... That's wild as shit. That's wild shit, bro. Anything else for the WTF? No, nah, that's it. I just want to leave it at that. Okay. So let's move it along. Elon Musk. Elon Musk, the goat of goats. I don't give a fuck what anybody say. I fuck with Elon Musk. You know who Elon Musk reminds me every time I look at his face? You ever seen that movie? What was that movie with Adam Sandler where he was a surgeon? Uh, It was like, was it the change up or something? He was a surgeon. And he had, he had met, he had met that he was dating this lady that was younger, that was really younger than him. And his assistant, he was a, he was a, he was a plastic surgeon. This was with Jennifer Anderson. Well, he got a dude in there and he got so much plastic surgery that like his face was numb. (laughs) So he was like, he's like, he's like, Hey man, I I just want to see if I can still get some more plastic surgery. He was like, no, it's just looking dangerous. He's like, I just want to stay in the game, man. He was like this. He was like, Look, his man, his man was like, "Is that a car alarm?" He was like, "He's laughing." <laughs> so the nigga was laughing. He had so much plastic surgery. That's what Elon Musk remind me of. You gotta watch that shit. It's funny. Go so ahead. Elon Musk tweeted. I don't know if it was today or this week. No, I don't know if it was today or yesterday, but he tweeted, "All Tesla workers will return to in-person work." Those who fail to do so, I assume you resign. You agree? Thoughts. You agree? I I say, I just, so I would say situation dictates. Only reason why I say situation dictates, right, is because somebody may be, you know, it may be more, I'm not going to say more beneficial. I mean, they may have high-risk family members at home, right? Um, that may be an increased risk for them to fucking go to work. I mean, but through this whole COVID thing, right? This is what I realized. I don't give a fuck whether you feel that you need to go into work every fucking day or stay home, but it's been proven that you do not have to fucking work at a fucking desk all day, every day. It's proven. And what's crazy thing, the crazy thing about it is the government has saved money. In regards to leasing agreements and everything, because they don't have the same amount of people in these buildings. Right? Okay. So um, I think that it should be some type of hybrid situation. Now, he did say he will review all exemptions, but until then, everybody needs to bring their ass back to work. 
Um, me personally, my situation is different from everybody else. Um, I try to telework. Uh, I try to do a, I, I do a hybrid thing because I do have high risk family members and stuff like that. So I can't be exposed to you dirty motherfuckers on a regular basis, right? And I still do wear my mask inside when I'm at work around Hell people no. that I don't fucking know. Um, but that that's just where I'm at. But my reasons may be different from yours. My your reason may be different from the next motherfucker. It just all depends. But that is the fucking boss. If you want your fucking job. I guess you're going to take your ass to fucking work. I mean, don't get me wrong. If my job is to tell me right now, we're not doing no more fucking telework. You're coming back to work permanently. Okay, bet. I'm in there. I'm just wearing my mask every fucking day. So that's just, just that's where I'm at because you're not fucking my money up. Understood. It's, it's, it's too easy. I tell people all the time. I tell my soldiers this shit all the time. You get commands to fucking execute. You'll go a long fucking way. The fuck are you going to combat it for? What the fuck are you going to fight it for? You have no leg to fucking stand on. They fucking give you your paycheck to pay your fucking bills. Your fucking house that you got, guess who pays for it? This motherfucker. Your goddamn car you got, guess who pays for it? This motherfucker. If you really think that you can fucking sit here and say, well, no, well, fuck this. I don't want to fucking do this shit no more. I'm going to go find somewhere fucking else. By all means, I, I, wish the, I, I wish the best of fucking luck to you. But a lot of times, people that got shit right now, it's a lot better than what the fuck they're going to get into. So I agree. You know, pick pick your poison, pick your battles. One thing my my grandma always told me: pick your battles, baby. So it. that's that's just me. You sir. okay? Um, your ass had fucking cabin fever. So I don't think is... I don't I don't think nobody should be full telework, bro. I'm gonna leave it there. I mean, if if you got the, if you fit this description, you got exemptions. You know, whatever that category is, understood. But I don't think nobody should be full telework. But bro. you know, but a lot of companies know why they're going full telework though. I, I I get I get why they're going. Well, why you think they're going full telework? I think, it has nothing to do with exemptions and none of that shit. I think, I I think because we've proven that we can do it, and that and I that's mean, a part. And I mean, also, I mean, outside of the you know, you're you're saving money as far as a facility that you're not. Yeah, using. that's what it is. That's that's all. That's all it is is money. Yeah. yeah. So I mean, yeah, you, these companies are realizing these agencies, right? These three, we're in the fucking DMV. These three other agencies realize that they can fucking save money. And some of these people can do their fucking job from home. They ain't got it to fucking work. They cutting down on fucking security. They cut down on fucking staff. They're oh, saving no, security fucking still money. there. Right. But their security still there. It's not the same amount. No, no. You you, you can reduce them. That's what I'm well, saying. It's reduced. It's reduced. I'm not saying they're not there at I all. Just, I just think it do something to you. Now, of course, I'm just speaking, speaking for myself. You know what I'm saying? I just think it does something to you, bro. You in the house every fucking day, bro. It does, but it depends. It depends on the type of but person I, but that I, you I are. I think it depends on your job. I think it depends on the type of person you are. Man. Like, like me, fuck you know, the job. It depends on solely who the know, fuck you are, and what type of person. You previous, are. previous, previous uh, profession. You know what I'm saying? Agency where I was glued to the computer. You know, from when I get on to taking a shit to making lunch to going to get my daughter from the bus. The fucking laptop is you right sh- next to me. You know what I'm saying? Yes, I was. Shit all on the keyboard. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Motherfucker, that was extra as hell. But, you uh, shit on no fucking keyboard. <laughs> that was because you were shitting on your controller too, man. Nah, nah. I wouldn't do that. <laughs> I, 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 <laughs> all that shit. But, um, then, then, but then doing that and then, then going to a profession where, um, I don't have to. I don't have to be at the computer as much. You know what I'm saying? It's like, yeah, you know, you can take advantage of that. If I need, if I need to go to the gym, run a few errands or something, yeah, I can do that. But I still, I still just like to, you know, as much as it's a pain in the ass, it's like my commute's longer. It takes me about an hour, some change to get home. I still enjoy my commute going in. I still enjoy, you know, being amongst others. You know what I'm saying? Put, yeah, you yeah. know, put putting the fresh little fit on. You know what I'm saying? Actually, you enjoy the camaraderie. Ready. Going in work know. now. Granted, I'm on a hybrid schedule. I'm on. I'm on. I have an AWS compressed work schedule where I work nine hour days and I get an extra day off per pay period. So I'm I'm getting an extendo once a pay period. You know what I'm saying? And I'm coming in seven a.m. to four thirty. We're not really doing shit until like ten. So that extra hour is is nothing to me. You know what I'm saying? Right. But and then when I'm home for them two days, it's like okay, cool, relax. And and I like how they did it. So. Just throwing it out there. Uh, you know, my week one schedule is I'm off Monday. It's my AWS. Then I come in Tuesday. I come in Tuesday and Wednesday, and I telework Thursday. I'm in on Friday. 
The next week, I come in Monday, Tuesday. I telework Wednesday. In Thursday, telework Friday. So I'm getting my telework Friday, which is my eight-hour day, mm. into the weekend to my Monday AWS day. Now, the only the only issue is, not really the issue is, it's on the off weeks, not on the pay week. But, I mean, I'm smart with my money, so it's fine. Right. So I think that alone is just like, damn, I, f- I be feeling like I have too much time. You know what I'm saying? But just getting back on topic, man. Embrace I just, it. I don't, I embrace oh, the yeah, time. I'm embracing it. I am. I'm embracing it big time. I'd be like, mm, what am I going to do today? Nothing. Fuck out of here. <laughs> but I just don't, I don't think, I don't think you should be home every day. Like if you're going to be home every day, like you got to have like a routine set up, bro. Like you got to be getting up, you got to be walking or you got to be exercising or you got to be motherfucker. You got to be doing something like to just, just imagine you just get up Monday through fucking Friday. You get up, you got to be working at 730. You're getting up at 722. With the, with the robe on, you cutting the fucking computer on. You know what I'm saying? You got the little daily meetings. You ain't cutting your camera on. You ain't did shit to your hair. And then you sit, you chill. You know what I'm saying? You eat a heavy ass lunch. You heavy know what I mean? You take lunch. a fucking nap. You wake up. You're still working. You're working past the time that you're working because you got catch up. And then you're still in the house. Then your kids, your family come home, wake up, do that shit up again. That shit sounds miserable. It sounds like jail. So. <laughs> I mean, to say, you know, hey, everybody need to report back in. I would hope that he's already in front of who 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 don't meet the specifications to have to come in. But it is what it is, man. I, I mean, I think honestly, I, I think it's a lot more crazy shit going on on the roads now in public. I think people are really acting out a lot more now. But you I, fucking I, right. They fucking I, I, th- acting I think out. I think we need to get we need to get the fuck out of the house. No, I agree. I agree. I just think people weren't utilizing it. When we first started, I don't think people were utilizing their fucking time wisely. Fuck no. Hence why they've been getting cabin fever. Like, more nobody going outside. will not nobody doing the walks. will not nobody. Nobody were taking advantage of the fucking time. Niggas were scared they was going to get sick. I, But that don't mean you can't do shit by yourself or with your family. I took advantage of the time. Nigga, I got quality. I got quality family time during the fucking pandemic because I'm always gone. I'm always working. Nigga, I spent I spent half the pandemic out here trying to fucking find goddamn life soul and fucking toilet paper. I didn't. I was all, I'm already smart. So I'm sorry. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> but that's that's gonna lead us into our last topic. Oh shit. Summertime winter clothing. I hate it. And it's only the fucking teenagers that do it. I'm gonna I'm I'm let y'all know right now. We just just like we said last last season, hoochie daddy season is in full effect. You know what I'm saying? I went to the pool today. I was suited and booted. It's on my Facebook. Check it out. All leg and all thigh, <laughs> all thigh, all all, all, shit. all all dark meat pulse. Ashy as fuck. And so I'm on the train the other day. So you know, orange line fucked up. Got to take the blue line. So I'm like, all right. You know what I mean? It's different. Going to work was fine. But then I'm coming home, and I was like, hmm, the weirdo level's a little higher on here. So, granted, it was like fucking 90, 93, 94 degrees. I'm, look, I'm looking at one nigga with a hoodie on. Thick hoodie, too. Fur, fur, fur in the hoodie. On. You know what I'm saying? He's not sweating. I was like, he's an alien. Then I'm looking at, I'm looking at another young nigga. He got a ski mask on. Whole face covered. Oh, what he, had, he had to jump down. He had he had the shit all the way on. You see, it was his eyes. He could have stuck the train up if he wanted to. With a hoodie on, not sweating. So I'm like, the fuck. And I'm just like, bro, listen, listen, listen. It's summertime. All right. When the time is over, let's let's retire. retire. He probably had a ski mask on, a wife beater, and some fucking jeans that was falling off his but, ass. But but the thing about bars. it was, when he got off the train, this nigga walked and took his shirt off, took the mask off. What are you doing? What are we doing? Like, it's it, listen. It's not fashion. This this was on DMV Hoods and News, and it was a guy on there that was that was talking about this same shit. I should have fucking put put the video up here. What he was saying, he was like, "Bro, I know it stink under there." Oh yeah, I I, yeah. I know. Like, you can't tell Hell me yeah. whatever y'all got that's masking that sweat. Y'all sweating like shit under there. Sweating like a motherfucker. Like, bro, Most of the motherfuckers ain't brushed their teeth in the fucking like, morning. Bro. They probably and probably smoked about two days before they got in that motherfucker. Or smoked a cigarette. Probably took a shot of something. It's nine thirty in the morning. Breath fucking humming. Your shit's, <sighs> bro. On on my worst day of not taking care of myself, whatever. As a young nigga, I ain't never think to put some hot ass fucking clothes on and go outside in the summer. Yeah, and but just it's not, make myself. But it's not just the adults. It's the fucking kids. I'm talking about the kids. It's, it's the teenagers. They're the main ones that's doing it. I don't. I, I haven't seen nobody over like fucking twenty five doing. I that shit. seen. I seen a post. 
um, somebody posted it. It was like, my son was walking around with a hoodie on, and I asked him, was he hot? He said no as he's sweating bullets. Weird. If I, I'm telling you right now, any of my kids walk out the fucking house with a fucking, any heavy shit on and it's 90 degrees, yeah, you're getting your ass whooped. You my know. son tried, he tried to pull that shit this morning. And you know what's crazy? Because my son is scared of, he's scared of thunderstorms. So this nigga checks the weather faithfully. He come down the stairs. <laughs> Don't do my man. No, he, I mean, he a child, it's okay. He come down Don't the steps, do he got a hoodie like on, that. zipping all the way up to the neck, and he got motherfucking sweatpants and some flip-flops on. I was like, son, go the fuck upstairs and change. Was it cold in the house? No. You about to go to school. What difference do it make? You freeze, eat your serum, get the fuck out of here. So I'm, I'm, like, I'm 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 Winter kids, shit on kids, nah. So kids. I, I so especially especially older kids. Like my oldest has shit with tags on it, but still wears like the same. Like she wants to wear her favorite hoodie. Wasn't favorite. Like no. Put and I, and I know that's the trend. You probably you probably see some other older dusties in middle school that's doing that shit. Nah, nigga, we 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 rolling clean here. So on the post, I was looking at the comments and it was like people trying to take up for that shit. Some it was some nigga. I don't know who to do this. He's verified though. And he was like, he was like, he's like, man, y'all need to mind y'all business. Niggas really be having shit going on out here. It's not fashion. So I went in comments and I was like, at uh, blue verified check mark local gentleman. No, it is fashion. It's fashion, bro. D- dusty nigga edition. Well, if you got shit going on, put on a fucking mask. How about you? How like about, a fucking COVID mask. How about you like, put why? regular clothes on so you can blend in? Yeah, <laughs> like you making you drawing attention to yourself. That's what I'm saying. I was like, same like just, just you know what, you know what, you know what irks the fuck out of me just as much is niggas wearing fucking hot ass shit when it's hot outside. Niggas playing they fucking music on speakerphone. Oh, you ain't you ain't been on the train, huh? You know, no, I'm on the train. I've been there. I hate it. I be one of two piece niggas no, on they, the fucking they, train. They, they've evolved. They got look. They got little Bluetooth they, they speakers got, and walk around with speakers. speakers. Yeah, yeah. Now. I know. These I hate it. I hate it. Yeah. I hate it. Last time I took the train was like a couple years ago, and I said I'm not getting on the fucking train ever again, specifically for this fucking reason. I went to fucking Morgantown Boulevard. Mm-hmm. Went to the Nats game. Took the train from there to the Nats game. As soon as we get on the fucking train, it's a nigga rolling up. And he's talking to himself and rapping all the fucking way to LaFont Plaza. Then he's then he started kirking out. I don't have look, I got a couple fucking screws loose. I don't have the fucking patience for these motherfuckers on this train to be acting stupid because I'm not. You gonna say one thing to me and I'm gonna snap. And but that's the thing though, like no, they they were no. these, these folks. These, and then this, they get blamed disrespect. What the fuck you looking at, dickhead? You you got a fucking JBL LED Bluetooth speaker, and you're playing it on the fucking train. It be it be it be, it be music of them too. And it's them. It's their shit. I be like that shit whack, bro. It's but. trash. Your wife beat her dirty. Your pants is hanging off your ass, and your goddamn phones or your J's. Are creased and fucked up. You out here looking dingy and you're not pulling no bitches. Leave it the fuck alone. But you know, it really at the end of the day, bro, they be doing this shit on purpose. They do it on purpose to draw it, it's, attention. It, it, it's to draw attention. It's to it's, it's and then it, when it's they like, get the right attention, they be mad. They be wanting to fucking go to the fucking next level. I'm like, telling you, it's I like be, I wish somebody would. You you, bro, you you wish a nigga would for correct you because we don't want to hear your loud music, bro. I'm you, I, I don't give a fuck. I'm like, bro, cut that shit off. And they'll be like, man, fuck you. And I'll stand up. And they'll be like, please tell me you want this smoke. Because I've been waiting to violate a nigga today. Please tell me you want this smoke. Nigga, I'm not on the train. I don't give a fuck. Ooh, relax. You are on the train every <laughs> fucking day. I'm, I'm, I'm just, be, look, they be blowing me, bro. That shit wild. The only, listen, the I'm only thing hate, I can tell you, hate you, the niggas, morning, you prom come see. The morning, you are. It's just, no, it's it, not. It's the, no, no, the morning is not bad. It's the afternoon, though. No. 
That morning Afternoon is just is as worse, bad. Dog. They guys to take the fucking train. Let me tell you something. Train story. Uh-oh. Fucking, I used to catch the orange line. You don't give enough train stories. I used to catch the orange line to a fucking LaPont Pies and get on station? yellow line. What station? Landover? Yeah. Or Chevrolet. I'm fucking, I'm with fucking Chevrolet, right? Or Landover. I get on the train. These little motherfuckers going to school. We pass it through Deanwood. What time was this? It's like 7, 7 oh, o'clock yeah, in the fucking you, you, you in there too late. That's so, right. look, this lady, right? We had Deanwood. She running. Trying to catch that jump. Hit you with the infamous doors closing. Boom, boom. She's haul assing. Bro, her, she's running her hair flaring. She gets through the door just in time. Her fucking wig gets caught in the fucking door. So she just got to stand there. So she just got to stand there. <laughs> and all these young, wow, fucking rambunctious ass little motherfuckers are flaming her. From fucking Deanwood to LaFont Plaza, bro. Oh, well, she got it out the next stop. But now she got it, it out the next stop, there. but you went from Deanwood to fucking, what you call it? And it's flaming, it's fucking flailing in the goddamn wind. Bones out and all that. And yes, and they, they was like, nah, bro, look, real life, look at this shit, you ball bitch. And these motherfuckers are like 10 years old, 12. They, they is wilding on this lady, and she just standing there like this. She probably held up like. She it took everything fuck out. out of her fucking oh, life to not fucking it, it took everything out of her to fucking not fucking cry, bro. <laughs> I felt bad. I felt bad right, for the stop, lady. Stop, stop, stop. I had my own fucking truck. I fucking I tore my fucking quad. I'm on crutches. I'm like doors closing and like oh, boom, no. boom, door closed in front of me. That shit sucks. You ain't put you ain't put the you ain't no put the because then if the joint would have pulled off with my crutch, I'm fucked up. It's wild. No, it's wild, <laughs> bro. The train is wild. And the thing about it is, people say the New York trains are worse. It, it is. It, well, they say it's New worse. York, I've never been on a fucking New York I've train, been on New and York, I don't want been to, on a New York train. worse. You know, well, what I will say about the New York system is complicated, bro. You yeah, it's like a, around, it's a fucking maze. You get lost. You, you, be, get lost. you be in Canada some guy. But it's a way. lot of people. It be a lot, it be a lot of dancing shit going on. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it be eating. Everybody, this motherfucker hanging off the fucking thing. It'd be a lot of that shit. But um, nah, it's like New York, it could be anybody. Like here, it's it's you already know. Like, I mean, it's 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 hate to say you profiling, but when you see the niggas who fit the dis- description come on the train, you already know. Yeah, they ride a train every day. You don't you don't really know what the fuck going on. In that New motherfucker York. ride a train every day, but he got on Balenciagas. Yeah, fuck out of here. But um shit, that's all I got for that, man. Stop wearing them hot ass clothes, y'all. Hey, and um, don't forget, man, if y'all didn't check out the promo video, man, it's out. It's busting on TikTok right now. We bought 2,000 there. We bought almost 200 likes, a, a couple of shares. Hey, shout out, shout out to Glenn. I yeah, live art was, studios. Shout out to Detective Bubblegut. Detective Bubblegut, shout out minion. to uh officer, officer Harley Janice. For uh, uh, you know, staying masked up and uh, being she, serious, she fucking threw me in the chair, literally. You know, shout out so. to the executive producer, my wife. You know, what I'm saying for sitting back and order, making sure we was all we was She's shit a, tight. She was a legit makeup artist, bro. She drew on yeah. his beard, she his mustache. This, well, he, I don't know what David Ruff and shit she was trying to give him, but she I don't know where the sideburns <laughs> came from. But she didn't have to do that. Um, that motherfucker looked like a Mississippi pimp. Bitch, better have my sweet yeah. potatoes. We're supposed to be getting some bloopers too. He said they're gonna put a blooper reel to. Uh, okay. uh, right, I was right. like, yeah, go ahead and do, that. That. Yeah, do that. But that's all we got, man. Uh, episode Wait. 96. I'm just damn. I'm I'm gonna let you get it. Shit. Nah, nah. Ninety six. Uh, we we still got we got you know we coming up on one hundred, man. We we got some shit popping. We got some guests coming up soon. We ain't gonna tell you. you just gonna have to wait. Uh, make sure y'all subscribe. Make sure make sure you subscribe and you hit the little fucking bell so you just get this shit. Like I need I need y'all bailed up out here. You know what I'm saying? Just tell y'all right now. Everybody was like, "Oh, y'all show so funny. Y'all shit so good." Prove it. Why y'all not doing so good? You ain't share my shit. Hit that bell. You ain't share my shit. Hit I the, need y'all to all share my shit. Or our shit. Hit the bell. Just share it. Thanks. But. So. You better be good. You know, June is uh, Diarrhea Awareness Month. Runs to a Friday. <laughs> 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 you 
I got another one. I got another one. You know, uh, male bees, they die after mating. That's their life. Honey, nut, Cheerio. That shit was funny. I ain't never met nobody laugh at his own. own hey, no, I, I, I laugh at my own shit. Yeah, you, you got me goofy, beat. motherfucker. But um, that's all we got, y'all, man. We appreciate y'all fucking with us, man. We'll see you next week. It's our officer salute. <laughs> Captain out. <laughs>